had a brother send me a very interesting article here from InfoWars and uh, here you have, this just came up today Psychologist lists eight reasons young Americans don't fight back. How exactly has American society subdued young Americans? Okay, now if you saw my study on psychologists, psychiatry, all these nuts, nut shrinkers, you know, why would this Defender of Freedom Alex Jones here, why would he put something like this up? But let's go down here to reason number eight. Check this out. Fundamentalist religion and fundamentalist consumerism. Young Americans are offered choices of fundamentalist religion and fundamentalist consumerism. However, all varieties of fundamentalism, the demand for a strict literal interpretation of certain doctrines, hmm, narrow one's focus and inhibit critical thinking. Uh, did, didn't Jesus Christ say that uh, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free? Uh, knowing the truth and standing for certain doctrines will actually set you free. It doesn't inhibit critical thinking. Some progressives call fundamentalist religion the opiate of the masses. That's what Alex Jones says. Fundamentalist consumerism destroys self-reliance. No, it doesn't. It creates people who feel completely dependent on others and who are thus more likely to turn over decision-making power to authorities. Ridiculous. Absolute lie. This is the precise mindset the ruling elite is striving for. A fundamentalist consumer culture legitimizes advertising, propaganda, and all kinds of manipulations, including lies. Huh? Uh, no, it doesn't. Once society legitimizes the lies and manipulation, people cease to trust one another and form democratic movements. In conclusion, Levine states that these are not the only aspects of our culture that subdue young Americans and crush their resistance to dom domination the food industry, blah, 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 blah. But look at that. Look at that. Literal interpretation of certain doctrines narrows one's focus and inhibit critical thinking. Guarantee you that this, uh, whoever this idiot was, Bruce Levine, uh, you know, in-depth list of reasons why young Americans don't fight for their rights. Guarantee he's an atheist. Just, what a bunch of nonsense. And Alex Jones is supposed to be a Christian. Oh yeah, he's a real Christian. Alright, putting a stinking article like this up here. Absolutely insane.